we call it in Sainik Skolar School, progress report. Now, because of the clear marking on academics, uh, many of the students, they become very demotivated, but this present uh, new education policy talks about a makeover, makeover of the report card. The report card will have, on, not only it will be based on, assessment will be done on account of skills and capabilities of the student, and the marks will be lowered on the uh, academics. Then it also talks about board exams, some changes in the board exams. The board exams may be focused on skills. Uh, there is possibility of different types of exams. Then uh, they are talking about in introducing this uh, semester system. Then another uh, point is on digitalization of uh, education. Any policy with, without digital application is impossible. Teachers and experts cannot reach every school and every class. Now to make up this gap, we have to take the help of digital application. Teachers and experts can reach every village and every house through digital application. We can make, uh, by using digital application, we can make local language available and the, for uh, differently able students also, we can use digital application, e-courses and for adult learning also. So, digital application is very important aspect in this uh, uh, new education policy. One very important aspect is Lok Vidya. Lok Vidya. It is education needed to preserve the age old Indian heritage and culture. India, India's strength is uh, unity in diversity. We have diverse culture and the heritage. Lok Vidya, the, the education policy talks about education based on the connected, based on and connected with our culture and heritage to preserve rich heritage and culture of our great country. Hen, like handloom, khadi, material, martial arts, these things need to be preserved. We, we don't need to copy the other countries. We have rich heritage and culture. One very, very important um, aspect is expansion of education. By 2040, most of the institutes are to be made multidisciplinary institutes with more than 3,000 students will be converted into research institute by 2030. By 2030, every district to have at least one multidisciplinary institute. Then we are also targeting on gross enrollment ratio to be ri rising up to 50% by 2035, which is now only 25%. Now, as uh, Mr. Pradhanji has said, implementation is very important. Each and every one has have to be involved. It has to be prioritized. We have to, first we have to understand, first we have to understand the policy. Normally what we used to do is, without understanding, we try to find solutions. I am re reminded of a quotation from Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein once said that if he was given one hour to solve a problem, he would spend 59 minutes to understand the problem and he will require only one minute to find a solution. So we need to understand this policy thoroughly going through every chapter again and again and again. There are four sections here. First one is on school education. The second section is on higher education. The third section is on other key areas like adult education and all. Then the last one is how to make it happen, that is implementation. In Manipur, we have started uh, having rounds of discussions to make uh, to have a task force, to form a constituted task force. Then we are also planning to have very wide circulation of this policy. We are giving it to each and every principal, student leaders, the student unions, the central institutes, everyone we are going to circulate. We have started and also we are organizing seminars workshops, debating competitions, then uh, 
discuss, small group discussions. Then after that, we will uh, come down to how to implement it. What are areas immediate we can start with, or what are areas which will take some more time? What is the role of the government? What is the role of the uh, uh, the civil society? What is the role of different departments? So we have started working on it. It is not only the government. It is it is the responsibility of each and every one of us, each and every citizen of the country, of the state, to contribute and to think and think and think and how to contribute, how we can uh, realize this document, this policy into action. So with these few words, I wish all the organizers the best. We should, we must not forget that education is the future. Education is the future and the, the education, uh, education system has a very big role to play in shaping the future of our great country, India. I thank on behalf of myself and also the, uh, the, the officials working in the department and people of Manipur, the Honorable Prime Minister, for making it happen and also for, the, for uh, the, the, all the organizers, I thank all the organizers for making me part of this important program. Thank you each and everyone.